ओके श्रीकांत लेट्स प्रोसीड हेड विद योर एचआर फॉर पोस्ट ऑफ जेआईओ जूनियर इंटेलिजेंस ऑफिसर इन इंटेलिजेंस ब्यूरो एंड वी स्टार्ट विद अ ब्रीफ इंट्रोडक्शन या सर गुड मॉर्निंग सर माय नेम इज श्रीकांत आई एम फ्रॉम चंद्रपल्ली विलेज व्हिच इज लोकेटेड इन वरंगल डिस्ट्रिक्ट ऑफ तेलंगाना स्टेट आई हैड डन माय स्कूलिंग इन माय विलेज यूपीएस चंद्रपल्ली आफ्टर आई मूव्ड टू डिप्लोमा टू जॉइन देयर इन निजामबाद I had completed a diploma in the specialization of electronics and communication engineering. After that, I did my B.Tech in CBAT Hyderabad in the specialization of electronics and telecommunication. I had completed my graduation in the year of 2020. After that, I started uh, preparing for government jobs. So I had a uh, written the IBJO exam. I cleared that IBJO written test. I may have a PF for skill test and entry. That's it about me and uh, more about about my hobbies, uh, doing exercise and uh, reading books, or playing cricket and uh, listening music. That's it. Okay, okay. So, uh, Shrikant, now, uh, you what what are you doing presently? I'm preparing for gate, sir. Actually, you are preparing for gate only. Yeah? When did you graduate? Uh, twenty twenty, sir. Hmm. So after twenty twenty, you have not done any job. Yes, I did one. I did seven months uh, in different company like uh, it is real estate company. Mm -hmm. So I didn't uh, get some kind of satisfaction. Then I started preparing in there year of twenty twenty. But you are a computer graduate, and you know there are so many good opportunities for computer science uh, engineers. Why don't you want to join uh, these jobs? Yes, sir, actually, I would like to get government job. Actually, that is my desire. Ultimately, why government job? it's like uh, mostly doing something to the country like service apart mm. from doing uh, doing for different companies it will be like helpful for our con country so something i will contribute to the country by doing some service which is related mm. to my technical subjects technical knowledge so which other the, government organizations you are exploring uh, which organization like drdo uh, mm. and uh, some pss like uh, if i crack it There are so many opportunities. That is why I am preparing for that. Why you are interested in intelligence bureau, Shrikant? Uh, yes, sir. Actually, uh, before applying of IBJO, I had a little bit knowledge about IBJO. Like it is like a, a one organization which is going to protect our country. But after that, I searched and uh, had uh, studied somewhere uh, like uh, which is uh, about our internal security of our country. Mostly, it deals with uh, terrorism, anti-terrorism, and uh, nationalism. so they are going to protect our country uh, regarding of this kind of uh, terrorist attacks uh, and mostly they going to give so much of uh, information before uh, before uh, attack of uh, some bomb blast like uh, in jammu kashmir or somewhere like uh, i had seen some news also like uh, hotel taj in mumbai before before uh, uh, that bomb blast i be gave them information to that uh, local police Yesterday, the police uh, station in one Hyderabad also in Hyderabad also Bogor Chat, the 2007 uh, that uh, bomb blast they gave. Mm. So it is a, like they are doing some phenomenal work in our country to protect uh, the people, to protect mm. our Indian uh, Indian security. So their motive is so much uh, inspired to me because uh, mm. that's a so uh, that's good thing because you know it's so much important to where is where is we need to act, where is we need to go and uh, uh, find out the people. So nobody knows. It's a mm. thing like they gonna literally find the people who who are the nuxled, who are the terrorists, uh, where they mm. are coming from, whether they are from Pakistan, whether they are mm. coming from China, different uh, Arab countries. So they gonna find. So then they will uh, give the information to the related department like uh, army, nearest police station. If it is from nuxled, nearest police station, so army, so defense sector. So this is the work uh, one of the good thing to the country. So always inspired by that. so that's why i would like to join in ibj hmm. but maybe you don't know the actual work profile of ib it may be very hectic and uh, stressful for you yes sir i had seen uh, some uh, some brief uh, introduction about ib aciio uh, their uh, training and some kind of uh, work it's a really some kind of uh, challenging task alone because uh, we need to go somewhere and we need to collect information without knowing we are a intelligence bureau uh, officers we should hide we should hide our identity and we need to collect the information just challenging job 
and we need we need to work uh, like uh, 24 by 7 time for me different uh, criteria but we ultimately we are doing to the service, service to the country it's the most important like army pol army people like uh, navy air force they are doing the service service to the country this is all the one type of service to the country so it's a mm. good thing i was thinking mm. as the electronic engineer what do you think of where you will be contributing which domains yes sir in electronic domains uh, we had some communication engineering like uh, uh, which is uh, some kind of we can uh, use in radio communication technology so yeah. actually i i seen uh, uh, ib they had some their own different uh, communication set amateur radio section like they had some different uh, communication channels we then to use some our like uh, uh, sim cards and something so in communication sector uh, i can explore my knowledge in their uh, in that area and moreover that uh, i can uh, learn so many things related to my engineering and uh, which is going to uh, apply to this uh, organization that will be helpful i think i am thinking do you have any idea about uh, uh, emerging technologies uh, shrikant sir you have some idea about emerging technologies uh, yes sir so can you tell me something about emerging technologies emerging technology like amateur radio is a one thing that is uh, they use some different frequencies uh, different no, no, I'm asking about uh, uh, artificial intelligence, machine learning. Can you give me some application of artificial intelligence in electronics and communication engineering? Yes, sir. There is a lot of applications are there. Uh, mm -hmm. Machine learning, machine learning, and artificial intelligence. So one mm -hmm. example is like uh, uh, we know uh, practical example for uh, machine learning. So you know when we search in uh, uh, Facebook, when we search uh, Amazon or Flipkart some product like uh, some headset or some uh, mobile phone. Mm -hmm. So we said, and we went out. Or we are not uh, fulfilled with that uh, requirement. So let's keep it. After that, when we scroll the Facebook, Instagram, or uh, some YouTube, so they will again they will going to pop up that that uh, which we had seen that uh, uh, headset and phone uh, Amazon. That is a one of the application. And artificial intelligence is a one of the good thing. Uh, you know, in communication there is information theory. So we need to collect so many of information. And we need to select the relevant information, which is uh, sent from the uh, transmitter. We need to receive that information. We need to collect. So by that one, by using artificial intelligence or algorithm, we can uh, clarity. We can get so much clarity of information. The right information we cannot get. So mm -hmm. this kind of uh, examples I can give. Sir. Mm -hmm. Okay. So uh, do you know uh, who is the CMD of uh, Intelligence Bureau, Director of Intelligence Bureau? Yes, sir. Uh, Sri Tamandek, Tamandek, sir. Sorry? Tamandek. Are you sure you're uh, naming rightly? Ah, sir, sir. Tapandek, sir. Sorry, 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 sir. Tapandek. Okay. What is his background? He is a IPS officer. Under which ministry intelligence bureau comes? Uh, in, the, in the Ministry of Home Affairs, sir. Hmm. So, have you seen uh, Intelligence Bureau in current news nowadays? Uh, no, sir. But I had searched uh, uh, searched once, but there is no. Uh, there is some news. Amisha said like uh, big, uh, said uh, every district of IB officer has to come for the smooth intelligent uh, program. I had seen only one uh, just information. But particularly, IB has doesn't have any particular website uh, about their missions, with, about their uh, who are working, where they are working, where they are. There is nothing information. Uh, even I had seen the I had searched Tapan uh, profile. I was not able to see his picture also in so many different websites. All I searched nothing. Mm, I had seen okay. about that. Okay, okay. Uh, let me give you the feedback, Shrikan, for this. No, see, number one, sometimes you are giving law long answers, which is not required for that. So write the short and crisp answer for those. Like, why you did not do any job as computer engineer? You should write that answer on a page. So far, why you did not do any job as a computer science engineer? Because there are so many jobs in the market. Number two, why you want to be part of intelligence bureau? or government sector 
so you are giving so many examples like uh, pakistan mein this we can do that we can do. so that detail answer is not required why government sector why intelligence bureau very specific answer now why intelligence bureau for that you need to read the document of your pdf which we have provided you go through that and then you say sir intelligence bureau is a uh, pride of india it is working in particular area which is of national importance for us national security because okay. growth of the safety of the people growth of the nation depends upon the internal security and intelligence bureau is working in that and also as electronic engineer i'll be working on the latest technologies so i'll get opportunity to work with the best brains in the world, in the country and in the you know latest technological areas for the national security of the nation and that motivates me to be part of intelligence bureau so answer has to be straight but that answer will come okay. only if you go through that document and the names of the md and all all are mentioned in that document just revise that and what was your btech final year project and uh, what are the emerging technologies in electronics they will try to see electronic engineer from that perspective so discuss with kalash sir that as electronic engineer what i'm supposed to do in that please tell me that and that also you write so if you want to prepare very nicely for interview then you should make uh, you should make the script of every question answer for everything write it the moment you write it you cannot deviate the moment otherwise orally you are speaking every time you will be giving different answer otherwise write it practice it so that same answer comes up because five seven questions we can predict you know that why intelligence bureau as electronic engineer what you want to do so the moment you write and you make five six pages your hand written then you will be very well prepared for interview right go for it right okay sir